This one was really hard for me to get through, though some of it might have been because I was watching it on Pluto TV and they had like 20 freaking ad breaks throughout the whole thing. And with each ad break, there was like five or six commercials. Nearly drove me insane. As far as watching the movie, I was struggling to get through this movie. Um, it's not that it's like horrible. I think it's fine. I think there's things to it that are good. This is just one that isn't really for me, I'm thinking, with the Lost Boys here. We're mostly following Michael and his brother, his mother. They just moved to this town. Uh, she left her husband, and they're, she's moving in with her father, and they're having to live in this town. And they're going out, seeing the night, and there's very active, like, carnival uh, theme park uh area festival area i don't know exactly what there just seem to be a whole bunch of things going on here a theme park i'm just gonna call it and they're trying to look for things to do trying to look for people to meet whatever he catches the eye of this girl and he's like infatuated with her she ends up seeing him she likes him a little and then they like wants they try to do stuff at some point and this guy david who is a the pretty much head uh vampire of this little gang but not the main main head vampire here uh is like I guess he it said later that she was supposed to bite him as her first kill, I think, or turn him. But he but David seemed determined to turn Michael himself for no apparent reason other than maybe uh, like he just I don't know, thought he was cool, I guess. Can he handle this? Whatever as a human, can he then he'd be cool to hang with. But then it's also revealed later that. The father, Max, I think was his name, or he, he was like a store owner of a VHS store, I think, and uh, a physical media store. And he uh, he's pretty much the head vampire with this and wanted to find a mate. And he liked the mother and wanted her to be the mom of his kids. So he thought, if I can turn your kids into vampires, then she'd be more cool with it, I guess. And that's why David is taking Michael on this little adventure and then trying to turn him into a vampire. And he does. And uh, I mean, I liked that it was kind of different from other vampire approaches. And especially, you know, he drank the blood of David and then that's how he sort of became a vampire. But he doesn't just become one instantly. It's not the bite on the neck. He's just like experiencing things a little differently. And then they like jump off of a bridge and like are hanging on it. And he does too. And then they just kind of drop. And they're like, you know, come on, bro, drop. And he's like, what the fuck? You know, you guys are insane here. And then uh, he does as well. And it's implied that he flies and he just wakes up at home. He is like, ah, the sun is awful. And he's just kind of got an attitude a little bit. He's changing. And then he ends up like accidentally floating and at, at some point and freaking the hell out of his brother. The dog is attacks him. There, there's some aspects of this that I like. Uh, there's these two boys that are basically the resident vampire hunters or experts and whatnot. They read a lot of comic books and they are sure that there's vampires in this town with all the deaths around and everything. So it like it's fine. Later on, they have a showdown. Uh, Michael wants to try to take out the head vampire guy and leads his brother and those two little hunters to the place. Uh, also so that he can save uh, the girl. I'm forgetting her name at the moment. Sorry. But he's going to try to save the girl and her brother, of whom I thought was her sister. But it's, it's kind of they never really linger on any shots with the kids. So I, they just had long hair, so I assumed it's a chick. But uh, they are trying to save them. And if they can kill the head vampire, then they can turn back to normal is the gist. And they end up stabbing uh, Bill from Bill and Ted and kill him. And then they're like, oh, fuck you, little kids, we're going to kill you. And so they prepare for a vampire attack at their house. And they get a much garlic, holy water, and other stuff. And they show them go to a church and grab it, which is kind of funny. A little funny scene there, sure. And have this huge battle as the vampires come in and trying to take them. And the dog helps them out. They were going to leave the dog outside, but thankfully they brought him in. I'm sure that everybody who loves dogs was glad that the dog does not die in this movie. And yeah, the twist is when they kill David that, oh, that like he everything's the same. I guess it doesn't mean anything. But nope, there's actually one vampire left, and that was Max. And yeah, that was uh, the deal there. And he like so you have to kill him to have everything go back to normal. And then the grandpa ends up killing him by running the car into the house and 
killing the guy, I guess. And he's just like, oh, yeah, the thing that sucked about the city was all the damn vampires. That was kind of funny, I guess. Sure, sure. And there's a part earlier where like the son and the two little vampire hunters were trying to they suspected that that guy could be the main vampire guy. But they used like garlic and they used holy water and stuff on him and he could see his reflection in the mirror and everything seemed fine. So oh, he's just a normal dude. What are we doing? Oh, uh, that's wrong. And then it turns out that, well, because he got invited into the house, all the like weaknesses weren't applicable, I guess, for the most part except for being staked, I guess. So, all right. Yeah, I guess that's something. Uh, when he said, when he first said, you know, I won't, uh, you're the man of the house. I won't come in unless I'm invited. I was like, who that's a particular set of words. And I assumed at first that it, they were going to try to do a double subversion where like, we're going to think that that's the vampire, but it isn't because he's a, it's just like a reverse of like the vampire is leaving the house. And there, he's got to invite a human in. I thought it was going to be like a little play on it or something, but no, uh, and that's fine. Uh, the movie's fine, but I, I don't really enjoy it. No, I was finally glad when it was over. And it's not, again, it's not horrible. It's just not for me. And I, I don't know. I don't want to watch it ever again. It's just not mine, not for me. But it does have a '80s feel to it, and I can see why some people like it. I just. No, it's not for me. So let me know what you guys think in the comments and have a good one.